Uh, good afternoon. It's five minutes after twelve. Uh, I don't know. We have to wait a lot of people, but the time is very tight. So I'm going to start because we have a lot to say, like yesterday. Uh, excuse me for questions. Let's. I'll try to make it at the end. But if it's so simple, I, I um, I'll get your answer and answer your question. It will uh, need a lot of talks and uh, a discussion. I'll leave it at the end. So we can cover as much as possible what you are going to do uh, to discover in this uh, advanced stuff. I don't need to talk more about this is what I'm doing. I'm working for a company, it's called e Finance, uh, I'm assistant architect, board member of the uh, Architect Club for Oracle. Uh, JCP, speaking in Java and DBox and a lot of conferences and NGO.conf Consultancy, global article writers and some stuff Initially focusing on working with Java since 2001 This is my slogan And another one, improve your life through science and art This is my another slogan Okay, let's check our agenda Yesterday we was covering uh, four essential stuff, which is the past class, how we can get metadata about directories, how to manage symbolic and hard links, and the file uh, final class EDI that contain a bunch of methods for working with directories and file actual creation, reading, blah blah blah. <coughs> and the advanced random access file we covered if you need to uh, access the content of the file rather than sequentially, uh, randomly. Like, like if you would like to uh, develop a word processing uh, or like the uh, document processing. Today we are. This is essential stuff you should be worry about, to, so you can start in your your I/O development. Now we are going to cover all the advanced stuff, which is for certain cases. All these cases we are doing before by third library, uh, third part libraries, like traversing directories, watching mechanisms, asynchronous calling management, you have to manage your thread, pooling, blah, blah, blah. And now all of these at your hand as a standard in your JDK. So you don't need to uh, use third part libraries. And the most uh, interesting thing about that is in the JDK. What does it mean? It doesn't mean if there is any problem or fixes or security, you get support directly from Oracle Corporation. It should be, because it's the, this is the GDK. Uh, we will see uh, the traverser process via this interface, and this interface is dedicated for every traverser process and encapsulate the, the hooking of when, before, after, and getting the result. It's you can use it for searching, for searching for content, for copying mechanisms, uh, deleting, moving, everything you need traversing. <coughs> Another thing, monitoring. This is one of the most uh, advanced and interesting EDI. Actually, I use it a lot because uh, I have a lot of files to exchange and I, I don't want to pull. Planting bullying on the specific folder to watch do you have that certain files? Do you have certain pro, uh, folders created? Files getting from other systems? So I need just real time, okay? Once you get the file, you need a notification, process this file. You can actually do it with this watch service API. Uh, <coughs> what's introduced in the networking that upgrading and make you don't uh, work with the socket? Don't a downgrade to working with the socket ABI itself. It's just making upgrading and enhancement in the networking ABI, building upper level, so you can just message, I need this data, send this data, just give me the IBs, upgrade higher level instead of low level development. If you are developing socket based ABI, you need to go low level, working with bytes, working with the socket itself, accepting packets, packets, and manage all of this. These days, now with GDK, you have a higher level, working with the adjusting with this, this the data, okay, send it. Okay, what about that's coming and buffering? Just give me the incoming data, all the packet processing and all of this, 
that's done on behalf of your, uh, your API. This is another one, which is a synchronous API, and we will yeah, we have a lot to say, but when we give point to, to this is our agenda. Let's move to the box. API to support you such powerful mechanisms that you can use at your hand. We are talking about recursion operation. Uh, do you hear about recursion before? Do you use it, especially the graphic programming using recursion a lot? Okay, and I will take advantage of recursion programming to introduce this interface and give it at your hand in efficient way. They are making the mechanisms for managing memory that you have don't have to worry about managing traverse a process of large pro, uh, large uh, uh, entries of directories. If you are connecting to a network, okay, and a lot uh, <coughs> a lot of me a lot of data and in gig or something like this, it take care it take care of all of this processing. <coughs> in graphic we use to draw with something like this, okay, uh, you have one pattern and you need to repeat this pattern in different ways. So you use recursion. Recursion means I, I want to touch every single entry that I'm visiting. Okay, what does it mean? This is very common approach. Someone asked me if you we have a file class, final class we introduced us today. There is a copy, move and delete. But it's delete and move and copy the folders if, it, if they are empty, one level. What about the recursion? If you are using this method, you will use it with file history BI for deleting the entry. But for traversal and process, this interface we are going to introduce, take care about this. So we have, if you need to delete files or empty directory, you use this API. For traversal and process, incorporate this with file history BI. I'll give you a search example and you'll see the uh, <coughs> uh, effect of this. NIO encapsulates the traversal process after three an uh, interface named file history by This is a key interface. You have to implement it, but you don't have to implement it. Why? Because our uh, GTK support gives you a file, it's called uh, class implement all of this, like adapter, because it has uh, four methods. You have to implement, maybe you are interested in visiting the content itself. This is when you are doing the search. You want to like to traverse the process and getting the before touching. This is another method. After, this is another method. So you, maybe you need to implement all the methods, one method. So if you are going to uh, extend the interface directly, you have to implement and put in empty brackets. So you have the adapter, it's called send file with Arabia. It's a class. Have methods empty, you override what you want to process them. File visitor interface. Okay, this is the key interface. Provides support for recursively traversing process. The methods in this interface represent the traversal process. Okay, from enabling you to take control when the file is visited before directory is exit and after. Once you have control, you have a result. So if you are going to search on a file and you get a file and you don't need to traverse more, you can control that the return result of the method so the GDM will stop searching and give you the result back and, uh, and now I'm done. This is your file. Maybe no, search. you need to continue searching down, get all the content in all files. You have the ability to do this and all the results encapsulated in file results uh, in them. This is the return of the function of the traversing process. In other words, <laughs> interface has hooks. You just, you, you, you will ask me 
from going to call this uh, method. No, you just define files that work method, give it your implementation, it will work, and call the methods callbacks, like callback, and then get you the result in one line. So it's, it's hooks, it's callback methods. That's all about. That's the example for that. this directory, I want to list this directory I implemented. Uh, this is one of the hooks of read methods. This is a file visitor result that you need to control and this is one of the defined take the path and give exception if there is any problem. So you can control it. You have the control. Okay, this is most visit. I want just uh, print the, uh, the directories that I visited. I don't care about the content. So just give me uh, the directory name and the results continue till you finish all the directory. You can here, if you are implementing search, okay, for some algorithm you can find some uh, private uh, variables, okay, and uh, I want to search for a file called uh, search.java, for example. And here you implement if the, the diary of the string equal to search.java that continue or skip or skip something, or blah blah blah, your logic will be here. And you're controlling by this enemy. For me, continue till you finish the traversing all the process. This is basically fake. If there's any problem, you need to control. Sometimes, if you didn't find a fire, no problem, you need to continue. So you control the exception mechanisms in this way. If you don't implement it, okay, once and the error is done, it will stop recurs uh, recursion of the uh, traversal and give you the file doesn't exist or blah blah blah. In certain failure of the errors. But if you need, no, continue. Uh, the file doesn't exist. The file access has permission. You are not allowed, no problem, continue searching. You control the scene. Time to continue. Whatever the error raised, continue. You're working. Okay, then. I'm done for this. This is the call. Let's read this message. What does it contain? All of here is the the, the class that I implemented the logic. I am creating an instance. Then files the talk file directory. I give the pass. I want to traverse. Then uh, maximum integer here. You can control the maximum depth of the files you, you need to traverse. And your implementation. Here is the hook. Here where the my logic implemented, and I need you to code. That's that's it. if you run this. This is all the traversal for the the directories. What if I need the in inner classes or touch files, the pre and post for directories? If you need to implement files, okay, there is a method called uh, visited. On this, you have to implement it, and you will, it will give you the file under these directories. So it will be printed. This one. 
In this case, I'm doing a search. So I need to search on the file. So I need this method, visit file. Which are then. then you get the file here. You get the actual file, so you can search inside the content of the file, or the, the file as a name, or whatever your pattern are using to, to match that file or the, its content. For, for directories, you have the pre and after. Pre, the same level. After, after you exit and didn't find the results or anything else, you have the, the visited after visiting your directory. So in, in, in two first method pre and post, you get touched for directory and and visit file, you get the file itself. Now we are going to move to file notifications. Any question about the visiting file API? Uh, there are a lot of talks about lambdas, and they say about functional and here I see uh, no functional interface after classes. How is it going to integrate with that uh, You can do it uh, integration for the for the, oh, uh, for for the yes. You have to write a, a, a JDK a JDK <coughs> eight. If it's, I'm running on JDK seven. Yeah, but when you, you write interfaces with only one function, and mm -hmm. your interfaces contain four functions. This does not integrate with Lambda. So you can, this is interface. So I, I told you that there is a, a, a class implemented. It's called Simplified Visual, which is just a class implementing uh, uh, all the interface methods. So we can do using this for Lambda. No, no, no. Lambda like work only with interfaces, with one method. They don't work with abstract classes. They don't work with It's not interfaces with more than one method. So you have, you have your, your implementation and implement this one method. Extend it, that I did. So I can traverse in uh, Java 8 simply write in Lambda. Mm -hmm. okay. You have five history. I implemented my, my function and I have only one which is visit file. So I can use that for Lambda expressions. You didn't, you didn't show your class uh, definition. So you extended simple file visitors. Yes. Class. Uh, it's, no, it's, not, uh, it's not abstract class. It's not uh, abstract class. It's just a normal class. No, that's not right. How does work with interfaces? It doesn't work with class. Mm -hmm. But there, there is still a lot of enhancement will be done on the uh, uh, in, in IO uh, two for working with Lambda because there's a lot of interfaces. But it's the main, you know that uh, GDK eight is postponed to be in March uh, 2040. Yeah, it's less than a year. Yes, but uh, the main concern for security and Lambda integration, and there is a lot of enhancement <coughs> will be done on uh, the NIO for, for simplicity of the work of these interfaces and uh, the integration. Uh, is anyone working with not bad plus plus? <coughs> okay. Do you, do you <coughs> did you monitor before the, the notification mechanism when you have, for example, opening the log of the server and you just go away and working with your code and when you back, you get a message, hey, the file is uploaded, uh, is modified outside. You get this notification mechanism, how it's done. We are going to talk about this mechanism, how we can make it, how we can use it in our applications using the watch service API. <coughs> it's regarding monitoring. Monitoring what? Directories, files, or, or your object. How you should you can implement a watchable interface and it will be eligible to be watchable by the service. Mainly in JDK, the only path, the only class implementing watchable interface is the path class. The path class implemented so we can use it for watching directories and file modifications. Uh, the watch service ABI was introduced in JDK 7, its first introduction to it, as a, a thread safe synchronization that is capable of watching objects for changes and events. Okay, the most common use, as we can uh, uh, monitor for directory, is create, delete, and modify. 
this is the most common use. There is, if you're waiting for a file and files or certain files, so you, get, you want to be get notified once a file is updated or something is deleted or blah blah blah, you can do it with file notification. Uh, as we have seen before, that we we have seen this in like most of Notepad, uh, 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 Notepad, like Notepad plus plus uh, Notepad itself, and the any any IDEs that implement uh, even the IDEs. If you are changing the, the ID outside, uh, it refreshes itself for such services. Uh, I'll give you a demo after finishing this part. Okay, so which service UI is low level? By the way. So we, we, we can have it as a low level and implement your logic inside uh, your, your methods, okay? For which event you need to ignore, which event you need to watch for creation only. I, I'm clear about receiving files. I'm not caring about deleting and something like this. So you can have control this and you can build a, a higher level for like you, uh, your common libraries that would be used in development. For such library you can use this API, this API is really able to take you the control of how things is going. So you have the control of everything, every event, every notification. Same so for your developers or your team, you can build a higher utility class, depend on that, just I'm um, watch this part. Like what's going on? Is this low level implementation? You can use it to write your 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 on top of that. Okay, by default this API you the underlying file system functionalities to watch the file system changes. How? When you have one or more you you registering an object which is registered in the bus for our example data bus plus which implement watchable interface. I want to register this for notification. If any notification done on this path, okay, just tell me. Okay, what what's this API doing underlying? Underlying it's once the notification has are detected by watching service, the watch service passes this notification event to the proto that to register the handler. They said the message, the handler, each each registration notification event like create, update, delete, something like this, okay, has a handler and return you the result once this notification is done. So from now on you don't have any more to develop in your house uh, product uh, or library or use third part libraries. Okay, this is fire notification. Let's show you an example and see how it works. I'm just typing that uh, the exact number of steps that you want to implement such functionality and it's one, two, three, four, five so you can do the steps in, uh, in sequence you will get in the implementation directly I'm sorry if the, co the, the, the size is but bigger here you need to watch just file system get the default path new watch service. You get notification, okay, with, from the underlying system. Then, did you see this? Try, and I put in the, uh, the declaration between try and catch. This is called try resource. What the benefit of this? You will not find me closing this service after finishing. I don't, wor I don't want to be ever worry about closing if, especially if you are dealing with multiple resources, just declare them here, okay? And the GVM will take take care of closing, okay? But you should be aware that uh, not not all the objects are eligible to work in this in this way, unless it's implement watchable interface, not watchable interface, but a closable. You get some sleep or. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No. No. 
uh, then I need to register my classes for events, my part. Um, I want to, this is a bus class that implement watchable interface. It should have this method, register. Register and the watch service will, will take, the, uh, uh, take care of the registration and event handling and this event that I want to monitor. I, I want to monitor entry created, entry modified, and entry deleted. All of this I want to watch all of, all of these events. Then you will get in a loop for getting events. In the loop, I get in the, the key, which is relationship between the event, okay, and the, 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 uh, the path that had the event. So you can get all the polling event from it. Then the kind of the event, it's, it's overflowing. Sometimes this is done when your file may be deleted. Okay. Sometimes you have the notification at the same time that another process deletes this file. So it's overflowing. So I, I told them, no, no problem, continue. Don't stop. So I have to handle this. This, no, this is default registered. By default, it's registered. And you, you need to take care of this event are strong. You can get it from certain problems, like uh, you have an entry, and the f you get the entry, at the same time, another processor deleted it. So it's overflow. I, I'm not, I, I stop working, uh, working with, with this watching service. No, I don't know, no problem. Just continue, I want to watch. Then here, you get the context. From the context, you get the file, the everything you need, the, the object you are watching. Actual object. Uh, here I'm reading attribute, just attribute. I want to know if this is file or directory, uh, maybe your size, and blah, 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 whatever you want. Anything done on the, on the file, in the bus case. Okay, that's done. Here I'm resetting for receiving another event. Then if anything failed, break. Thank you. This is my implementation. How to work with it? Just this is the path that I want to watch. Okay, this folder. Then uh, this is my implementation, and just watch the watch directory and catching exception. That's all. Let's see how it's run. This is the watch directory. I. Thank you. 